Hi there! Welcome back to Post Call Gaming Streaming. I'm Dax. Tonight we're going to be doing some Valkyria Chronicles 4. We have not touched this game in a while. I have not touched this game in a while, but this is a game that is in a series that I absolutely love and that I am so happy that we're going to go back to. It's just going to be me tonight, folks, um, so hopefully you guys don't mind that it's just a little old me. Um, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to, you know, play the rest of the cutscenes. We're going to have some more of the main missions kind of going on. We're going to play a little bit more of the game. Um, it's always great to play a RPG on a Thursday night when you just want to have some entertainment and, you know, hang out with some old friends. I'm hopeful that the audio issue that we had last time with the game has been solved, um, in which really the main issue was that there was no game audio, and we figured it had something to do with the capture card that I use, which I love, but is still very much something I'm learning to get the handle of. I'm sorry if we're still having audio issues, but hopefully that has all been solved. Last time we had left off, we had finished a pretty fun mission um, using one of the new units that involved basically getting to um, one half of the map is what it seemed like. But let's see. I was trying to flip um, for those of you guys who don't know, oops, accidentally skipped the cutscene, I think. We should be able to go back. We should be able to go back. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, we can go back. Good. I was trying to flip uh, my X and circle buttons because I use a DS4 with my Switch Pro. Doesn't look like it's working. Gonna have to figure out some other so time. So this is the 21 centimeter howitzer. Or what's left of it anyway. So much for surrendering. Denying us this scrap metal cost them their lives. They chose death before dishonor. Everyone who goes to war knows they might die. But if I was in their shoes, I don't think I could pull the trigger. We're not fighting to die. We're fighting to live. Deep commentary. These men died for their country, and I respect that. Still. Yeah. Weapons can be replaced. Lives can't. <sighs> but speaking of weapons... How about those new guns the reinforcements were carrying? For being portable, it sure packed a wallop. Big things really do come in small packages. Innuendo? It's got state of the art tech. Not innuendo. The range Great. Of a tank. That's actually really good that it wasn't innuendo. I was worried that they were gonna make seen one of these beauties. And I thought you were supposed to be um, the cream They were gonna the make him kind of like the stereotypical lecherous anime side character, but no, he's played straight, which is actually really good to see. I feel like we don't always um, get a straight man character in this type of scenario. A magic wand that grants every soldier's wish. <laughs> Not exactly awesome, the right? analogy I was thinking they would go with, but okay. <laughs> Isn't that... Those are some short cutscenes. in charge of the squad. Gotta say, I'm impressed at how quickly they were able to change their tactics on the fly. Uh, well... Hmm? Wait, Raz? What are you doing in the Edinburgh army? We enlisted together to protect Galia. No way! Lena? Small world, huh? Oh. Sorry, I'm going by Kai now. Wait, Kai? 
Hi, uh, but that's your. Riley. That's your what? Hmm, I don't really. They what? Get they all have this. Okay, I'll call you Kai. Anyway, it's so amazing to see you. What are the odds of seeing old friends in a foreign war zone? It's me. How'd you end up in joint operations anyway? Since you asked so nicely. <clears throat> the texture on that mortar is I'm impressive. I'm Lieutenant Riley Miller. After majoring in Ragnite engineering, oh, cool. She's an engineer. the army brought me on as an artillery advisor. I've been temporarily transferred from the field artillery team for this joint operation. Mm, temporarily makes me anxious. As as Does that I'm mean here, you're gonna leave? I'll provide the fire support you need to take down the Empire. Awesome. That's great. My knowledge is your power. Okay, that's pretty awesome. She's played straight as an engineer. Just what our cool. squad needed. We appreciate the support, Riley. I do have to say, um, so where's the commander? For those who played Valkyria Chronicles them. One, they also actually played a lot of characters straight in that game as well, which was really, really awesome to see. Uh, about that, it's not just us two in this squad. Huh? You mean Kai's here after all, or? Riley. I'm the commander of Squatty. What are your guys' histories? Oh, you're pretty young for an officer. But I was impressed out there. My knowledge is your... <sighs> Claude... Wallace... <clears throat> is that all you have to say? What is your histories? <laughs> I can't believe I took orders from this coward. She's crying. Through that. Um, well. <sighs> okay, that was a great hook. <laughs> I really want to know more about these characters now. Chapter 2 The Liberation of Rain. For meritorious action in capturing Fort Crest. You've earned this medal. It's a good start. They keep getting these medals, but nowhere to actually look at them. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Connor Doherty. I'm writing a book. Uh, a war story. Nonfiction. You look familiar. It's good to meet you. Were you from the first one as well? All right, Fort. Mercenary. You pay, I shoot. Nah, it's not good. Self-conscious. Preferences have changed. Decal for the half-in. Learner's permit. Uh, let's just see. Feels like we still can't actually select the chance to like edit stuff, which is really frustrating. I don't know if I'm missing something or what, but uh... two months since the start of Operation Northern Cross, the Federation's elite forces, Squad E among them, were driving back the Empire one victory at a time. Yet, the further they cut into Imperial territory, the more tenuous the supply chain. And so, the Federation Basically, we have no established escape a series of massive outposts along the front line. Among them, Lindbergh Base. Oh, is this where we're finally going to be able to get our stuff? Division, this outpost would prove itself a vital logistics hub in the battles to come. I have figured out why we aren't able to swap the X and circle buttons. It's because I'm using the Magic NS or with um, configuration as if this, this was a Switch is our Pro. New base? It's incredible! Apparently, these facilities can accommodate over 3,000 soldiers and 100 tanks. On top of that, they have enough food, fuel, and ammo to supply every squad on the front line. Nice. 
Impressive. More like a dream come true. If I didn't know better, I think we were still, still seems in risky, though. territory. People who are manning this fort must be so scared every day. Get stuff done when they actually try. What's the deal though? They got all these resources and we're still stuck with one busted ass tank? Excuse me? Our squad takes excellent care of the Hoffman. You tell him. You tell him, I Miles. Have to admit, this really puts the scope of our mission into perspective. Hell yeah. With this much heat, the imps are gonna feel the burn. Feel the burn. No, we've barely seen the tip of the iceberg. Even all this might not be enough. Oh, you think? Way to rain on our parade, Commander. Hey, who's that? They got some weird get-ups. Oh, those are Navy uniforms. That's a surprise. Navy? What are naval troops doing this far inland? Well, I salute them for swimming all the way here. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho. Check out the ass on that one! Okay, I, I take that. it back. He is a lech. That is disappointing. Uh, hold up, Raz! I'm just gonna say hi. Break the ice, you know? He's hopeless. I just hope he doesn't get into trouble. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Anyway, we still have some time before the meeting. I'm gonna go take a look around. Sweet! We have wanted to be in here for some time. So this is the command center. I guess our deployment's going to change depending on the demands of the mission. I'll need the right balance of combat specialties. I should go over the pros and cons of every one. First things first, I'll look over the squad as a whole. So who's... Oh, these are guys are the ones in my reserve. What the heck is that? Okay. Uh, Lenia. This guy likes Connor and Teresa. Connor is... Ooh. We have one open slot. Brittany likes Millennia. Jean likes Ferrier. And one guy likes Connor. I like the idea of having Connor because he's another Grenadier and I, I kind of want this. another one of those because we only had one with Riley, which is not ideal. So I think we'll go with that. Sweet, they tell you who's active. Who did I like in the first encounter? It's interesting that their accuracy, their base accuracy and base dodge are different. So she's like amazing. They all have the same equipment, but she's got like super broken dodge. Curtis looks to be the best, because if you take the accuracy and the dodge, you just add them as a sum. Not great at mental math anymore, but he's 33, you got 28 here, you got 30, 27, 29, 30, 32. So Millennium's actually really good too. But Curtis looks like he's the best. Can't change any of his stuff. He's really good friends with Laurent. But he's not good with people he doesn't like. <laughs> Who's Laurent? Oh, McLeod. Okay. Well, there's no equipment for my scouts. There's a worse version of Robinson.
Why would we want to use this? Oh, oh, as in, we have a spare? Nothing here. Nothing for my engineers. Nothing here. Uh, nothing here, really. And then, I thought I got an outfit. No. I did not. Am I imagining things? Okay, well, tank parts. We have none. <laughs> Camo, we have none. See how we do. Wait, they actually have stats? Oh. Death plus 10, accuracy plus 3. I'll take that at death. I'll take that death. That should do it for now. Preparation's a vital part of any battle. I get the feeling I'll be spending a lot of time in here. Claude, we didn't do anything. There you are, Claude. I've been charged with Squad E's training. As ranking lieutenant, I'll be giving strict instruction to each I miss the class. old training captain that was like insane and just brutalistic. We'll be back in a sec, guys. Ah, I just needed a drink of water. My throat was parched. The experience you gain in the field goes towards refining our abilities. I want to see growth from all combat classes. Each time a class makes a breakthrough, every squad member of that class will show improvement. So that carries over from the first one here at Chronicles. Now show me what you're made of! Uh, hmm. I'm not sure who I want to boost. These guys are saying that it ups the battle potential, ups the order. Scouts are generally pretty useful. Can I get them all to level 2? Can. Just do that. Come now, is that the best you can do? Yeah, she's not as fun as the original. <laughs> You've leveled up, so to speak. Good work. So to speak. <laughs> this is not a video game. Look at that. The Lancers have awakened to a new potential. Hmm. Your troops have crossed a threshold today. You're clear to learn a new order. Oh, hey, that that's handy. Um, I do like my shock troopers. I should be leveling up my engineers. That's enough for now. Come now, is that the best you can do? Come now, is that the best you can do? You've leveled up, so to speak. Good work. Your shock troopers have found a new potential. Hmm. Your troops have crossed a threshold today. You are clear to learn a new order. Yay! Oh! That's really neat. Okay. Hmm. You've proven you have what it takes. Try taking those lessons to the battlefield and come back when you're ready. Yes, Mom. Ah, yes. Let me tell you about potentials and orders. I don't remember in what combat potentials combat classes are. rise in level, sometimes the soldiers show new potentials. Or you might gain access to new orders. You could say potentials show your soldiers' traits and tendencies, or at least how they manifest in battle. I think those are the bonus orders things. Orders are commands that you alone can issue in combat, either to individual soldiers or your squad as a whole. The thing about orders... Actually, maybe you'd learn better through practice. That's ominous. Use your orders judiciously, and you can tip the scales. Watch the flow of battle, and command with discretion. That's all from me. I expect nothing but the best out of you and Squad E.
I have a lot of ducats, so let's spend it. Whoa, Claude! Look at all these weapon parts! Perks of working in a Federation forward operating base, huh? We can develop new weapons here. If there's anything you ever want to upgrade, just give me a holler. Tank armaments, infantry weapons, anything. We'll build all kinds of new weapons and make our team even stronger. Why is he charging me money? <laughs> Do like my scouts. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Let's get put on his Instagram. Oh, not all my classes have upgrades. Mm. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? guy strikes me as a... <laughs> Let's get some tank fights. Also like the reinforced body. Whoa. Oh, automatically ups it. Nice. Okay. Uh, I just want to get some armor upgrades. Turned out group. All done. Okay. Uh, they should all be using the upgrade stuff. Perfect. Okay, that's good. That's what I needed. Kind of exciting, isn't it? Once we're ready, let's come back and make something to strike fear into the Empire. Okay, buddy. on there. Okay, we got something called Messel? What's the matter, Claude? If I didn't know any better, I think you just lost a battle. I'm glad that we won, obviously, but when I see my comrades in arms lying wounded out there... It's a bleeding heart. We're not in boot camp anymore. This is war. If that's all it takes to get you down, you won't stand a chance when the bombs really come flying. I know that, alright? War means blood. War means death. Still, 
doesn't make it any less painful to leave behind a comrade you know you could have saved. I'm not disagreeing with you, but tending to the wounded is the medic's responsibility, not ours. Sure, except when they're too far away to make it in time. Sometimes you can run as fast as you can to get help and still get there too late. Hmm, can't argue with that. If only we could relay the urgency of the situation to HQ. Perhaps like this? Oh. Oh. We can't afford it. I thought we were on the cusp of a pretty good order. Well, let me know if you change your mind. That was expensive. <laughs> This is really neat. That's pretty much a copy of uh, Welkin's pose from the first game. It's interesting that Riley is second and not Kai. Kai I like more. But I miss uh, Rosie. I miss Rosie and I miss uh, our, the big guy in the first game. Medic. Ragnarok. <laughs> uh, you know what? If there's interest, we'll probably just go through all these entries. Um, one by one and make a separate video that we'll upload to the channel Because uh, don't want to slow down the stream too much right now. I think that might be more interesting. So we will come back Let's head back to book mode I don't want to see what the skirmish is, but let's save first. Milt outskirts. Another tank. I like how they caught. I've got this. And an engineer close by. I can't remember who we brought the first time, so let's bring right. Alor, because I think we, we brought go. Rebecca last time. We don't know if they have any tanks. Moran seems let's pretty popular. And Curtis seems to like Moran, so let's we'll go. keep them together. Having, I like the idea of having a grenadier, so we'll keep the My grenadier turn. on. We got two scouts, and generally speaking, I like another shock trooper. Raz likes Claude, Kai, and Zyga. Let's bring Zyga. Here I go. Eliminate the enemy. Squad E, move out. Got one scout here. Doesn't look like I see I see a lot of scouts, one shock trooper. No tanks. Not that much in terms of Now advancing. Not that much in terms of cover. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Got quite a few good hits. This guy on Kai. Guys, good solid hit on Yeah, right. Don't stop! You've got to break the- Let's end that turn. Uh, we've got enough. Understood. 
get it. Curtis up. We can finish this up. This is awkward. There. Now. Nice. Let's keep going. Our allies have been taken out. All units, prepare to intercept. We'll have them scout down here. He's got a couple of movement left, which we're going to spend getting him a little closer. Looks like we're facing one scout back here. My preference would be to have a scout go back there. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get Teresa to leave back. Because I would like her to take out that dude that we know is in the back trails. Who's going to basically be trying to take out our guys, which is going to be annoying. We'll see how far she can get. Looks like she might not make it. Yeah. Got a couple shots in, which is not too bad. We've got advantage on the cover here too. Which I like to see. We'll take that cover so that he doesn't grab it before Teresa does in the next turn. And we'll take our shots. It's okay that we can finish him because his next movement turn. Pretty much, she's got advantage. Not happy that she's not ducking more effectively, but it is what it is. We've got good advantage now. Um, moving our tank is probably going to help. It still okay, blows my mind that they out. made it so that it's only one unit this. cost. Tanks used to be such a cost uh, in the game with respect to like... This won't even be a challenge. I don't want to waste... Don't want to waste the cover. Fire! And I also want to bring up guys. Just want to get our mitts on a stormtrooper or shock trooper. Comrades, and stick together. Eat lead. I've got this. Take it. Nice. Take him down. Come on. Ah. Well done. Do we have enough movement to occupy the next sandbag? Yes, we do. Okay. Perfect. Uh. Tempted to bring Kai up. Now advancing. Take out that last guy. Teresa's is down to a lot less um, movement. Doesn't make sense to have her do much more. Moving out. But we can get Curtis up here. You might want to study the enemies to There.
No sense moving forward. So we'll hold here. Uh, and then it doesn't hurt to have the engineer come up, I guess. Where's the tank? Where's the tank? Where is it? Let's end this phase. Oh, there was more people hiding. I think I tried to march right past. What? We didn't see their health the entire time. Probably because they thought they were stealth and it didn't matter. <laughs> Wow, they burned a lot of command points there to save up? Okay, we're gonna get Teresa over there. Keep your eyes open. We've got nice little bit of cover here. You didn't do that much damage. And she's not great at ducking either. <laughs> but it's okay, at least we got we got our units up. Okay, we know there's a uh, there's a scout there. I got this. I'm tempted to just get Raz to rush up to that sandbag over on the front. Occupy. Not the greatest occupation. And it's okay because he got him. Your own damn fault. I should have expected as much from you. We're basically gonna take their base. Hell yeah! This base is mine. We've taken the enemy base. Mission was a success. A rank. Can't remember if there's an S rank. I'm sure there is. Urban warfare. Glad to see you're on time, Claude. Tour the base yet? Yeah. Compared to the old camps, this is heaven on earth. Excellent. I expect you to put all this funding to good use. Sir, the commanders of squads A through I have assembled. Then let's get down to business. I know Squad E just arrived, but we already have marching order. Why does Our this guy have no name? He's just Federation officer. According to reports, Rain is one of the enemy's most valued comm centers. Which is why it's being guarded by a tank platoon. That complicates things. Squad E is mostly infantry. Do we have the right equipment for urban and anti-tank warfare? Don't worry. This time you'll have fire support. Once you infiltrate the city, simply relay the tank's coordinates to the field artillery team. I see you already thought this through. We also received intel that the Empire is inflating their numbers with decoys. If we can discern the real tanks from the fake, rain is as good as ours. Excellent work, Lieutenant. I'm glad I can depend on you. You flatter me, sir. <laughs> Impressed? Control info and you control the world. Okay, but what if you're wrong and those are manned us, tanks? Huh? Coordinating with the fire support unit is gonna make or break this mission. 
try to minimize collateral damage. We plan on repurposing their gear for our own comm center. Minerva, you are to lure the enemy troops as far away from the city as possible. Consider it done. Squad E will then sneak in and gather intel for the field artillery team. Understood, sir. I don't understand why she made such a dramatic face. It seems like a fairly standard comment. <laughs> Yo, I hear we're moving out already. Oh, shame. I just scored a hot date with a Navy babe. Man, Raz, you were a cool <laughs> guy. Even wish. You got shut down. Hard. Uh, you were watching? Raz, what you do in your spare time is up to you. But when you're on duty, you represent the army. <laughs> Who are you, my mom? <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. Nice. Anyway. You said we'd have fire support. Does that mean it's a joint operation? You guessed it. <sighs> hey, looks like you're still alive. I'm glad you're okay too. This music. They told me you'll be commanding my team. Oh, really? Well then, I look forward to... Spare me. I already requested a transfer. Uh, oh. But orders are orders. Until my transfer goes through, you're in charge. Not that I expect real leadership from a scaredy clod. <sighs> what do you know, Riley? Come lately, you just got here. All bark and no bite, as always. You mind shutting up while the grown-ups talk? What the hell? It's been ten years, and that's how you greet an old friend. Ten years. Uh, hi there, Riley. I know it's not my business, but Claude. Uh... Lieutenant Wallace is a great commander. None of us would have made it this far without him. We trust him with our lives. And since we'll be working together, maybe you should... Not a great sentence, Leiden. I should trust him? I'm sure it's all sunshine and rainbows while you're winning. But when the chips are down, running away is probably all he can manage. Cut it out, Riley. <sighs> the Empire took your family from you. Not Claude. He's grown up since then. Judge him for who he is now. Leave it be, Kai. Have they been fighting for ten but... years? It's all right. Words can't change the past. We'll just have to rebuild. Rebuild what? Our trust. <gasps> Riley, I'm gonna show you how much I've changed. At least give me a chance to prove myself. I'm so confused. I thought this was a more recent war. Let's make one thing clear. Unless it's for the mission, I do not take orders from you. Riley. Give me a break. <sighs> okay, now I'm really curious to know more about their history. Uh, so guys, it's 9.52. Uh, this stream is going to go on only for an hour, so I think I'm really curious to see what their character data says. I want to know if they reveal what happened. I'm sure they don't. Valkyria Chronicles is really great at hiding information like this so that you'll keep playing and you'll find out more, which is a great way to build a game, really, but let's see if we can find out more. Alright, let's go through Claude. Age 22. So 10 years ago he would have been 12. There's no way he was fighting the war back then. So I wonder what they're talking about. Uh, it says change outfit, but we don't have any other ones. Yeah, they're purposely leaving it a mystery. His pose here is not the greatest. And here's a throwback to Valkyria Chronicles 1. She likes fresh baked bread. Looks like Kai's 23, Raz is 23, Raz is 21, Claude's 22. So they're all friends, closely around the same age. Minerva's a little older at 22, uh, from Claude. And he's the youngest, Miles is the youngest of 20. Pretty much it, and the rest are kind of like your support characters who do have backstory, but um, they don't go too much into detail. 
All right. So, uh, yeah. I'm curious to get into something happened 10 years ago. They would have been really young, like 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm a little curious. Something must have happened at Hoffen to have caused them to have such a rift. But I guess we're not going to find out today. Uh, and since each map tends to take me anywhere from an hour, it's kind of hard to start now. So we're going to leave that for next time. With all of that said, that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. If you're catching us on the YouTube archive and you like what you saw, please like this video and subscribe to see all of our latest streams and videos. You can also hit the notification bell to join our Notification Clinic newsletter to find out when all of our latest videos get uploaded. Um, you can also always follow us on Facebook.com slash PostCallGaming and Twitter.com slash PostCallGaming. I'm going to take this as a quick minute to pitch that PostCall Gaming is now releasing its own regular podcast. Um, we're only on Anchor.fm right now. You can find us on Anchor.fm slash post-call-gaming. Um, that's P-O-S-T-C-A-L-L-G-A-M-I-N-G. They're going to be helping us release the podcast on Google Podcasts as well as iTunes in the near future. So look forward to seeing us on your regular uh, usual smart device and subscribe to listen to us comment on our news. Um, previously, we used to do podcast episodes as part of our regular game streams. We're going to start trying to move those to their own dedicated recording sessions. So if you like hearing us um, chat about recent gaming news or give you our perspectives on what we're playing, tune in and uh, let us know what you guys think. We're always happy to hear back from you. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, folks. Thanks and good night. As always, let us know what you liked, what you want to see. Uh, last time we were doing some Dragon Quest XI, we had asked you guys if you wanted us to do more commentary, less commentary. We're always happy to hear what you guys like and don't like, uh, and we're happy to adjust the stream to meet what you guys would like to see from us. Alright, have a great night! <laughs>